bioterror is there's always the potential for bioterror and we have a major biodefense research and development effort that spans agencies from the NIH to do the basic research to be able to develop better vaccines how you counter engineered microbes how you approach drug resistance engineered microbes the CDC has surveillance mechanisms to determine if there's new microbes or anything out there in society particularly toxic that could be used in a bioterror situation the Department of Homeland Security the Department of Defense we do all of that having said that the worst bioterrorist is nature itself nature is very good at evolving microbes to create problems much smarter than any terrorist so what we've tried to do over the years is to use the expertise the resources to allow us to respond better to a deliberate affront or attack on us with a microbe of any type engineered or what have you to use that knowledge to better prepare us for what we know will happen we don't know whether we will ever have an attack on us in the United States or elsewhere using biological weapons. We absolutely know that we will have the evolution of a new disease naturally occurring that will impact society. And the reason is because history has told us that that will happen. I can't predict to you when the next one will be. Hopefully it won't be for a very, very long time, but it will happen. There's no doubt it will happen. So instead of looking at it in two separate silos of biodefense for biological threats that are deliberate and countermeasures for naturally occurring, you should essentially pool the science so that you could do both. Well, I think that, that where we are right now in science and molecular biology and particularly molecular virology and our ability to sequence and recombine and, and create various organisms in some respect is that the best way to prevent a nefarious act is to develop a culture of responsibility among scientists. You you have to have some um, restrictions in the sense of you don't do work that could actually hurt people in the sense of if you have a laboratory accident you have to have the right containment. Uh, once you start being too restrictive you then impede creativity for so many of the good things that could come out of the same type of work. So if you develop a culture of responsibility, the vast, 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 vast majority of work on that area will be done for the betterment of mankind. There are always going to be the bad guys around, somewhere, someplace. You would hope that they don't have the opportunity to do something that is going to ultimately hurt mankind. When I say that, I get back to what I mentioned just a moment ago, that the chances of nature creating something really bad is much better than we mere mortal humans doing it.